If you're thinking of visiting Iceland, your itinerary should include a visit to this unique and world's rarest natural phenomena. It's within inside these huge icebergs that are a little bit different because they're black. A blue ice cave. If that's the only reason you're here, you can skip to that part. Otherwise, come along on our Iceland camping road trip. This is my second night sleeping in the camp and I am feeling very good and fresh. We continue our Iceland camping road trip on the Golden Circle which gives you access to most of Iceland's impressive sites. Last night we slept at Skogafoss camping grounds and now we wake up to this beautiful view. I'm gonna go ahead and hike all the way to the top. Here at the Skoga Fox waterfall, we climbed all the way to the top and now this is really amazing views. You could choose to go further as well. Over there like all these uh, brave people are going and we might as well. But this is a really nice picture spot where you gotta come and uh, kind of stand on the edge of the cliff and get these beautiful mountains and then the waterfall just gushing water down and creating these amazing rainbows and giving that beautiful effect. So let's get some pictures for Instagram. There are two activities for this waterfall. One is to do the hike and get the view from the top. And the second one is to go inside the waterfall. So we're going there next. I am wearing my rain jacket, so we're gonna try to get inside the waterfall. Amazing. Oh my God. This is like another world. It's almost like it's raining here. Okay, I'm gonna get totally wet if I go further. Loved it. Much needed shower. <laughs> it gets really cold once you're like deep inside. So you can only be there for like a minute or two. So if you dare to, come on and get inside and get all soaked in this waterfall. Today, from Skogafoss, we go to another waterfall, which is very unique waterfall in Iceland. In the evening, we would go to Black Sand Beach and Lighthouse next to it. First thing in the morning tomorrow, we're going for our much-awaited Blue Ice Cave Tour. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. Just because it's easy. Oh, really? Take a walk along the street if I'm feeling dessert. All of this convenience just doesn't work for me. I want to play with fire. Let me get hurt. Can we take it back to 95? Before we had this drama in our lives. Just staring at the screen every day and night. I miss the rush of living in real life. Go get your DeLorean. You might think, hey, my lips are freezing. But you might think, hey, I've already done a waterfall and now another waterfall. But I think when you think like that, just say like, hey, let's just go and see how it is. And then let's just go another step and then another step. And then next thing you'll know, you had the best time at each and every waterfall. Oh, really? But sons and daughters, that shit was amazing. Can we take it back to So now we're at our next spot, which is the Black Beach. And this has a special sand. So right behind me, you can see that's the beach. 
Rim Safara is most well known of Iceland's black sand beaches and is a popular filming location with its landscapes that appear like we're on the moon. That's why one of the Star Wars movies was shot here. A dark cave over the beach with basalt columns makes us feel tiny in comparison. This is a formation process of the Black Sand Sea because these black rock were at the shores of all of these seas and as these waves came in, the structure was such that it would break it into small pebbles and then eventually eons would pass and then those pebbles would finally become that black sand that we see today. So this is the origin, these rocks of the entire Black Sand Sea here in Iceland. to the next stop which is the lighthouse it's a beautiful place so we're gonna go check it out you can hike and go all all the way down there. I don't think I have the energy at the end of the day. Right now it's 10 o'clock. I know it's like bright, but sunsets here at 11-ish. And it's still bright even after the sunset. Behind me is the lighthouse. And then we have some really amazing formations that we're gonna go check out. back from this lighthouse that you are seeing behind me also and then that's the black sand beach that we saw earlier and of course those are the beautiful views the blue ice caves of Watna Jokul National Park. For this pre-arranged trip, we started from Jokul Sarlan Glacier, which is the largest glacier in Iceland, and headed to a cave. And this was a very well-managed process, ensuring safety as the ice formations are changing every day. It was about three hours Papa, this video I'm making for you. This is the whole long walk that you can enjoy. So this one has a very interesting shape and uh, color. Uh, like I said, for the majority of this is actually clear ice. Because it's an outlet glacier and it's always pushing forward, it goes very deep into the ground. Guys, looks like we're walking on ice.
behind me you see this entrance to the snow cave that's where we're gonna be entering now and it's within inside these huge icebergs that are a little bit different because they're black and there's a reason that they're black because the formation is very different from the way that the normal icebergs or the glaciers are formed glaciers not icebergs Okay, so now we're just waiting on a group to come out and then we're gonna head our way in. Uh, this is our group, a small group of people that we're going with. It is such a unique experience to be able to stand inside an ancient glacier and the picturesque blue ice will make you feel like you're in a fairy tale. An unforgettable journey inside the glacier. In next week's video, we're headed to a place where regular cars cannot go. You must rent a 4x4 and pass through some tough terrains including going through rivers and mountains and everything in between. Hello sheep! Then we go to a hike at this beautiful canyon and then finally the most beautiful views of Iceland would come from Glacier Lagoon and the Diamond Beach. See you all next time!